Well, hello, my lovely friends. Oh, look how beautiful. Well, it's kind of burnt right now, though, but it's, it's like green. Can y'all see? Wait, I'm going to see if I can catch the moon. Oh, can you see it? It's brighter in person. The camera's not picking it up very well. This is my backyard. There's my new air conditioner that they put in a couple years ago. But, um, and then, then back over here is a train track. And then out that way is our airport. Our little tiny airport. But, yeah, this is all my backyard. For those of you who haven't seen it. And welcome to Young 40 Mom Crafts Channel. Came out. Where are you going? There's Boo Boo Kitty off playing. Y'all hear those cicadas? They are loud. Growing up, they called them Katie Dids. Boo Boo Kitty, where are you going? She escaped from the house. She's so excited. She's got a collar and a couple bells on so that she won't get hurt because <laughs> she's. Oh, look at her go. Oh, my stealthy little kitty kitty. She actually blends in with the... See how she blends in? She's done pretty good. Now that she's not in heat all the time and getting knocked up. That would be the cat. Hi, we're back inside now. Hi. We stopped at... Uh, Betty and I had an eventful day. After she got out of school, I got off work. I got home. I picked her up. We went to Walmart. <sighs> Guys, have y'all tried to find a pet fair? find a pair of khaki shorts lately oh my gosh maybe because it's the end of the summer who knows all i know is they're not to be found we found one pair <laughs> actually there were four pair on the rack three pair were size 16 one pair was a size 8. my daughter is a 10 12. that was at the third store we went to Went to Walmart. You would think Walmart would have it. Walmart didn't have it. They did have some, but they had a drawstring, and she has to tuck her shirt in for her, her band. Um, but they didn't. Uh, yeah, she wasn't too happy about that. So that didn't work. Uh, my crafty bug is, my wheels are turning. I've got my card sets out. I'm doing all kinds of things. I'm going to show you that here in a minute. But I wanted to talk about life stuff first. Um... Oh gosh, you never guess what's on my leg. What? Where'd you go? Yeah, it, it, you know it's got to happen. Come here. Oh, he's got to get in it. Meet Ramsey. Y'all know Ramsey. <sighs> he's got to get in on it. Yeah, I know. No, 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 no. He smells the food. Because, <laughs> anyway. Okay, so we went to Walmart first. Walmart didn't have anything. My camera's kind of turned sideways. So then we went to, oop, that's not going to work either. Man. All right. How's that, guys? Better? Okay. So then we went to, where'd we go? Oh, she was hungry. So we went and ate at Kumo, K-U-M-O. It's a uh, Japanese hibachi place. They have a tofu teriyaki option, which is really nice. And then they have an avocado roll, because I like avocado rolls. I like veggie sushi. Um, and they had, uh, what else did we have? Oh, and then they had the vegetable spring rolls. So we had those two. But anyway, and uh, we don't get the fried rice. I always get the white rice, the steamed jasmine rice. So I got leftovers. So that'll be midnight snack and lunch tomorrow for me. Uh, anyway, so, okay, so we went to Walmart. Then we went to eat. Then we went to, where did we go? Target. Target. We went to Target. Target. Y'all ever heard it called that before? Target. Uh, somebody around here said it once and that just stuck with me. We're going to Target. So we went to the rich, rich man's Walmart. So we went to Target. Target didn't have crap. They had some, a lot of really cute clearance stuff, but not khaki shorts. So then I said, well, it's right next to Kohl's. So I said, well, let's go to Kohl's. And 
So we we finally at the last minute found some shorts. We found it was a one pair of size eight, three pairs of size sixteen. She said, "Oh, here we go." I said, "They don't have your size, honey. They they don't have your size." So I thought maybe we would have it in our warehouse. So I was going to look tomorrow at work because you you know if y'all don't know, I I work for a company that does online sales for eBay and Amazon, and they have some outlet stores um, in the Tennessee Valley as well. They have three stores. Um, anyway, so I was going to go ahead and see what we had in our warehouse because we have over 4,000 products in our warehouse and a lot of stuff that's not even listed yet. And that's what I do. That's what I do for a living. Some of you have asked, um, I work for a company that has online sales and what I do is work with the customer service and, um, the returns when the returns come in and, um, also, um, I do some photographing and I do listings on eBay, Amazon, and Walmart. Well, we have Walmart store too. eBay, Amazon, Walmart. Yeah. I never do the Amazon listings. If we have an Amazon listing, it's got to be a pristine product. And usually the boss will do that. But we go ahead and get it ready on eBay. And then he decides whether he wants to associate it with a link on Amazon or not. You want to go see who that is? You know who that is? That's your mama. Hang on, I gotta pause because Maddie wants to say something. All right, so he's down. I get doggy hairs all over me. He sheds more than all three of my cats put. All four of my cats put together. Yeah, I have four cats. I'm supposed to only have the three, but we uh, could never find a home for Copper. We found a home for Copper, but the person who had him uh, moved out of state, and she couldn't take him with her, so we took him back. Anyway. So, I took the size 8s, and I held them up to the back side of her. I was like, well, let's try them on. They might work. And sure enough, they did. I'm telling you. Prayed about it. God put his hand on me. <laughs> she just shut her door. She's got to practice her clarinet, because Friday is her first official performance that they're doing for marching band. Um, they're doing a before, and then a halftime during the football game, and... Y'all, let me tell you about this. Okay, so halftime game, and then a, it said post-game, which to me, post-game means after the game. They told her we weren't going to get we weren't gonna get done until 11 o'clock at night. Y'all, I don't do football. I don't. I don't. I don't do football. So, you know what my happy butt's going to be doing? Those crocheters and cross-stitchers out there, y'all know what I'm going to be doing sitting in the bleachers because I ain't going to be watching that stupid game. I know maybe that's terrible of me because I don't have team spirit for her high school, but I have never liked football. I don't, I mean, it's okay. I, I think it's great. I think the concept is wonderful. I think our guys should have some activity to where they can enjoy playing with each other. You know what I mean? Just saying. But I don't have to enjoy it. It's just not something I've never, and, and that's the thing. The two men in my life that I married were not sportsmen. I got lucky. They were the ones that liked to watch the nature channels instead of the football game. Or they liked to watch the the hunting or the, you know, the, the other sportsman stuff, which is fine with me. Mostly nature and, and discovery. and uh, I got lucky. I got lucky. I don't know if I'd ever find another man like that again. But anyway, I digress. That was my point. Oh, they're gonna make so much noise. I'm gonna get so angry while I'm on the phone while I'm on the phone. While I'm on the phone with you guys. I'm tired. I'm tired. I haven't planned on getting on here, but I thought, uh, I told you guys I was gonna share my stuff with you, so that's what I'm gonna do. I got a lovely email from one of you watchers out there. Um, and I haven't had a chance to respond to it yet because I've been go, 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 go. Wanna tell you guys. I originally had scheduled to be on Crystal the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Ladies channel on Friday night at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. That had to be canceled, or at least I can't be on there with her. And I apologize to Crystal. I felt so bad because I realized I'm not going to be here. I can't do it. And I knew that if I did it from the football field, you guys wouldn't hear anything because there would be nothing but the screaming and the the whistles and everything else that goes along with football games, high school football games. Because y'all know, this is Maddie's first year. She's a freshman. She's in band. She plays the clarinet. 
All right, so after we finally found the pair of shorts, went to Dunkin' Donut, told her she can't have any caffeine, so we got her the Apple Cranberry Refresher with Lemonade. Yes. And I got the iced, large iced chai latte with pumpkin and almond milk. Mmm, it is really good, but I tell you, it's sugar overload for me because I'm not used to having that much sugar. But the almond milk is very thick and creamy. Oh, it's so good. That pumpkin spice. And it's early for pumpkin spice, but let me tell you something. Have y'all been to Hobby Lobby? When I went there the other day, this is about two weeks ago. This is August. Y'all, they got Christmas stuff out. I kid you not. Christmas. Christmas. What the heck? Now, they have some Thanksgiving and Halloween stuff out there, too. But they were starting to put out the Christmas stuff. I love Christmas just as much as the next person. But let me tell you. <laughs> really? Now? Why? I don't. I don't. I don't get it. I don't understand. It's a marketing thing. I know it, it's a commercial thing. It's, I don't, mm. oh my word. Jesus fix it. I'm taking that from Kevin, Kevin Williams. Jesus fix it. I just can't. <laughs> okay. So now that I've told you about what's been going on with us today. Oh yes. And the whole thing where she's got to be there. She's got to be at the school at 5 o'clock for the, what did they call it? The prep? The, what are they doing at 5 o'clock? It's not a pregame. She said it's called something. <laughs> Y'all aren't, you doing your warm-up till 545, right? The warm-up's at 545. They put down a new turf, so at 7 o'clock, they're, they're performing at 6.45. At 7 o'clock... Oh, my God. Sorry, I had to get this one. How did you... What? How? My dead Eve? How? My dead how? ex. How? What? How? Okay, I gotta pause the TV. One moment, I'm plummeting 100 feet to my death. The next, I'm flying for six feet of dirt. Y'all ever heard of that? Oh, well, I'm gonna have to... What? What is it with all these zombie movies and stuff? I don't, I don't, I'm trying to pause this. I'm so sorry. So, did I get it? I did, yes. Okay, so, I gotta have noise in the background while I'm working on my cards and stuff. Crazy. <sighs> See, that's me. Squirrel? Just, no. And the older I get, it seems like the easier I am distracted and I have to remember to try to get back to the original subject where I started. It's not always that easy. But I know if I don't say things when they're on my mind, I will forget. I have everything laid out in front of me. I won't forget this because it's here. I'll see it and say, oh yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have to go back and see what I was talking about. Uh, so the game. Noggin. Seven o'clock. They are doing a ribbon cutting ceremony. And so this is something unusual that they don't normally do. So they're doing a ribbon cutting ceremony. It's the first game of the season because they just started school two weeks ago. Yeah, this is their second full week of school. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then, of course, the game will start right after that. And then they're playing during halftime and then they're playing the post game. So, yeah. I'm going to be sitting in the bleachers doing. Probably crocheting out of my bag is what I'll be doing because it'll be something simple. I'm in the process of making another, another summer top um, out of a different type of yarn. I think I showed you guys which one I was doing. Okay, so on to some good news. You guys know I got five giveaways going on right now. And I will tell you again, I will do the drawing this Saturday after my birthday. This is my birthday month. Um, my birthday is the 26th, which is next Thursday. Now this Saturday, and I'll probably update you guys on this stuff later. Um, my sisters are taking me out to dinner at the 
Forbidden City in Chattanooga, which is awesome. I love that place. Um, it has a lot of options for me that I can choose from, which is nice. And then that way everybody gets to eat stuff they like. Um, so that's going on Saturday. We are taking what we call Maddie's non-boyfriend. We're taking him with us. And then we're going to go afterwards to McKay's, which is a uh, used bookstore, which is where I've got some really great uh, big and good books that I was going to show you guys that I got some great deals on. Um, and like I said, I, I when I told you guys the other day, I looked for cross stitch books or crochet books, and, I, and they they do not have. If you knit, they have a great knit selection. If you quilt, they have a great quilt selection. But our craft is very scarce very scarce unless you buy the newer stuff but or get the magazines okay so i guess i'm, I'm gonna say happy mail I, I i didn't get oh crystal yes crystal sent me a birthday card thank you so much honey i truly appreciate it and i keep meaning to get a post office box i'm gonna try to do that this weekend as well um so i can let you guys know in case you ever want to send me something like a card you don't have to i'm just playing uh, but it is, it is nice. I am one of those, I don't know if I've told you guys this or not. I don't think I have. I don't think I have. I love surprises. Love surprises. I've always loved surprises. I very, very, very rarely get surprises. But her card in the mail was a great surprise. It was very nice. And she's, she sent me some things before. Um, and so has Olive and Wendy. And, uh, yeah. So I really appreciate that. It's so great. Uh, and then the cross stitch community, I got, somebody sent me um, all for, just because it was really great. She asked for my address and she sent me everything to do the storybook time. Is it called storybook time? I still haven't had them start it yet. I feel so bad. I've got all, she gave me all the threads because some have specialty threads. And she gave me the, she bought me the pattern and the material and everything everything to do this she kitted it all up and she shipped it to me and that was i cried that was just because i knew that was not a cheap gift and that just it was just i didn't know what to say i was so tickled and this was like i want to say like six years ago but that happened yeah because it was 2015 oh that's bad that's my oh my eyes are weird Monkey. You're doing that on purpose. What? Squeaking. No. Oh. No, I'm not squeaking. That's how high the notes are. Oh, okay. All right. Ramsey's at my feet. What are you doing? Y'all is mm. anyway, so the happy mail that I got are my subscriptions. So I got the new Hershner's catalog. Oops. New Hershner's catalog. I haven't looked at it yet. Looks like it might be pretty good. So I'm excited about trying that. I may have to pause it. That's just some really high notes that they're playing. Alright, so I got that. So I was really excited about that. And I haven't even opened this yet. I got the new uh, cross stitch magazine, just cross stitch magazine, the Halloween Enchantress. I haven't even taken it out of the plastic wrap yet. I've got another year subscription on this. I get it till September of next year. So I don't know why they keep giving me these. Notice the benefits due. Let's see what this is about. It's crazy. Y'all, my needle threaders have been sewing like crazy. I'm going to have to order some more. I'm about out now. Uh, benefits must be claimed by 1018. Notice of benefits due. What are you talking about? Saying this is telling me pay some money. No, I have a subscription for another year. And it should be on my garbage. So let's take this out of here. Y'all like when people unbox Oh, yarn and stuff. I'm unboxing. What is that? Nope. What is that? There we go. A free gift for new and renewing members. I'm not new. Oh, AARP. Y'all, I'm old enough for it. It's cheap, but I just, I haven't, I, I just have not bitten the bullet and done it yet. 
All right, so. Oh, look at that Mickey Mouse purse. That's cute. Masterpiece of magic. Disney shoulder bag. Uh, Bradford Exchange. I wonder what it costs because they does not have a price on it. Mm -hmm. You can make monthly payments of how much? Oh, I'm sorry. $129. That's all. Um, okay. Oh, oh, cute. Look at this. Oh, look. Look, it's got a little village in it. <gasps> how cute is that? Oh, see, I love these things. But you know what? The problem, I hope you can hear me. I may have to finish this when she goes to bed. Anyway. Yeah. Seven Nation Army by White Stripes. That's it! That's good! That's good. Seven Nation Army. Y'all, she got up at 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock this morning to practice. We don't leave the house until a quarter after 7. Anyway, so, yeah, so I got the new, ooh. <laughs> ooh. <gasps> Y'all, look at this. Also, look. Look how cute. Oh, how pretty. Oh, y'all know I love pretty kitty cats. And not all kitty cats are pretty, just like not all babies are pretty. But, oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Anyway, we'll have to look at this together at some other point. Um, I don't want this to run too long. But uh, I'll put this over here so I don't forget to talk to you guys about it. And we'll see what Hershner's has got. It's their fall 2021 catalog. So I'm in the process of putting together my needle threaders that are on sale in my Etsy shop. And if you're interested, they're down in the link below. So I, I do them on with washi tape and I decorate them on like little cards. Like here's the back of the card. And then here's the front of the card of how you will get your, your needle threader. This is great for cross stitchers on this end and crocheters on this end. And I've got, if you if you don't know what they're for, there's a, um, I've got a tutorial on how to use them um, in my, my playlist. I think it's on my how-to playlist. Uh, and then if you buy two, you get it on a card like this. Because it's always handy. I've got five around the house in every place where I sit. Um, they're everywhere. I keep one in my bag. I keep one in all my different craft bags. I keep one at each project. They're great. So, yeah. And then I've got my little sticker on there. And then it, I make, I'm in the process of, um, I've got the double ones put together. I've got the single ones. I've got to pick some more of. And then with that, you also get uh, a specialty handmade card from me. But I found this. Is it? card packs there we go the light was too bright different card packs i thought it was so cool and i forgot and i've got this paper too that i was working with um it's it wasn't cardstock paper it was i think it was de just decorative regular scrapbook paper and then i've got my two little washi tapes out here i don't have my um i don't have my butterfly washi tape out here i also in your envelope I include one of my business cards and these are some they're not older ones because all the information is up to date um, it's just that some that I had was playing around with the fonts and things like that when I printed them out and so you get one of my oh it's not focusing you get one of my business cards as well so I'm in the process of that and then I've got my Thank you so much, Deb. That goes on the inside of the card. And then, of course, I've got my all my different packs of stickers and stuff where I decorate. Yeah, so that's what I'm in the process of doing. And then I've got some older cards right here that I'm going to go ahead and put together. Because when you win a prize from me, when you win a giveaway, you also get one of my handmade envelopes similar to this and then of course I have it closed in the back and it's a thank you card you also get a um, a sewing needle threader uh, as part of the giveaway uh, it's just a little extra something extra 
Ooh, extra something extra thank you for watching my channel so um i'm gonna leave it with that i'm gonna be working on some of these cards um so yeah i know it wasn't much it was just me jibber jabbering and i appreciate it um i hope you guys have a fabulous day it is wednesday and uh two more days my boss is coming back she's been in the caribbean or some tropical island where the water is like gorgeous blue like crystal blue is so pretty she sent us some pictures of, of the view from her hotel and i love my bosses they're so great but anyway i'm very fortunate that i love what i do not everybody can say that and the, the pay is decent um i'm in the process of trying to get a bonus right now our bosses have offered if you if you work your full 40 hours unless you ask for time off in advance um, and you don't have any time off other than what was previously requested he's going to give us an extra hundred dollar bonus at the end of each month for the next six months if you comply with this and you earn your bonus for five of the six months which goes on to the end of January we're going to get an extra 50 cent raise on our check permanently which will be nice on top of when we have our review so i'm trying really hard to take care of myself so that i i don't call in and i make it in i'm not late and all that good stuff i want that bonus that's christmas right anyway all right so i'm gonna go um this has been long enough it's been too long thank you for watching subscribing hitting that thumbs up, that notification bell. If you didn't like it, make sure you hit that thumbs down. It helps my algorithms, whether you like me or not. But you watched me, so I think you like me. Anyway, I will see you guys soon. Have a great day. I will see you really soon.